Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a video on the 9340 relay, but I needed to prep this transformer so that way I could energize and de-energize the 9340 relay easily, and I figured, well, I might as well make a video of what I'm doing here to, to prep this transformer. So this is actually a fuse holder. So I can put a three amp or five amp fuse in here. I don't know if you can see inside there. So you can see there we've got some female spade terminals that accept a fuse. So I take this fuse right here. I always inspect the fuse itself and make sure that it's in good shape. I'm gonna go ahead and place this inside the fuse holder. Okay, so now it's in there nice and snug. Actually, this side looks a little higher than the other side. Let's. So now what we do to test this, to make sure that the fuse holder is good, before I connect it into the circuit, because now this should be a closed circuit. Okay, so now I'm reading from one side of the fuse holder to the other, we're reading point 0.1, point 0.2 in that range, so we're, we're doing okay now. All right, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to connect this in line. This is the 24 volt secondary on the transformer, so I want to connect this in line with the hot side, what we call the hot side of the transformer. I like to double the wire up like this. And sort of twist it. That way that makes a much firmer connection. So these are these are heat shrink butt connectors. I like heat shrink because it just gives it a little additional protection. So there we go. I'm gonna take my crimpers. This out of the way. Crimp down that nice and tight. And I always pull on it to make sure it doesn't come out. All right, so a nice and tight connection there. So now I'm going to use my little handy dandy butane. It's a soldering kit, but it's also a torch. And so I've taken the end off so that way the flame can actually heat out the end. So put that, turn that on. Obviously don't want to overdo this because you don't want to melt the wire. So you notice I'm not getting it right. I'm not getting it right on the wire itself. Just close enough. All right, so now that's nice and snug. Now obviously I don't want to touch that right now because it's going to be pretty hot. I've got my little, over here, I've got my little sponge all soaked and ready. So I can cool off the tip. Also a place for me to kind of set it over. So there's my there's my connection. I'm gonna let it sit a little bit and cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead on this end here. I'm gonna put a female spade on it. So that way I can kind of make a quick disconnect sort of a thing. You can see the split on this. Is right here, so you want to use the you want to put the actual jaw opposite the split. So the actual part that does the crimping, you want to be opposite the split. So it would be right here. All right, so pulling on that, that's nice and snug. I'm gonna do the same thing. It's got my fuse holder connected in and now when I want to make a connection I just use a female spade on the other side 
can make a connection to whatever. Like that. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a connection into a switch. A little guillotine switch. So I'm going to make a connection. Nice and firm. Now on this other end, I'm going to connect a I'm gonna make this connection in order to connect to the actual switch here. This one here, the split is right here, so we're gonna put the jaw on the opposite side. All right, so now, These are all cooled down. We're gonna make our connection here. So now that connection is made. And you can see here, like, you know, we've got some, we've got some gap here. So this is, I'm only making it this way because it's a 24 volt connection that I'm using for a demonstration. I wouldn't leave this bare like this. Normally I would just make an actual butt connection, but I'm just doing this so that way we have a quick, quick connect in and out. But now I'm gonna connect this to here, into the switch. And then we can go out of the switch to our relay so we can control our relay coil. Now the only final thing I wanna do is I've got this little short bare wire on the, actually I wanna, I'm also gonna make some butt connections to the cord. So on this side, I'm gonna actually use a red butt connector and not double it over because it's stranded. If it was solid wire, I'm pretty much always going to double it over. Uh, like in the only cases you would do that would be like with a thermostat wire, obviously with large gauge, large gauge solid wire, you're not gonna use a crimp connector. So as a general rule, you only use crimp connections on stranded wire. So that's nice and snug. I'm gonna make it into the other end here. tight connection there back to the old soldering iron so again stranded wire only for this all right so now I'm going to put the female end on this that I strip off really short. The 
split is right here. So I'm going to put the jaw on the other side, the actual indention on the other side. I'm going to use the small indention on my crimpers. Nice and snug there. All right, so there we go. So we've got transformer hot through this wire, through the fuse to make sure that we protect the circuit, then into a switch. Now all I gotta do is come out of this side of the switch go into my relay, coil, and then back to common. So that's that. All right, so that's it. I'm, I'm Brian with HVAC School, and this was just a little video showing you how to add a fuse in line and how to make butt connections with heat shrink. Thanks.